Friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 9th, 2025, and we are zooming in to our little solar system in our big Milky Way to show you our planetary alignments for the next few weeks, as we do have Mercury coming in for a retrograde around the 19th, ranging right up until the 26th of November. We've still got all the big planets and players in one corner of the solar system. Venus on the other side and Mars. But Mercury is quickly coming around to perform a retrograde with Earth and the Sun, meaning going in between the view. And most times we do have an earthquake uptick around the world during this Mercury, Mercury retrograde. And as well, many people feel the effects of the electromagnetic and bioelectromagnetic energies that connect us all. This is showing the Mercury retrograde lasting from the 15th of November until about the 25th. It lasts for about 10 days and we will see an uptick in seismicity around the world. So stay aware and prepared. This is a look at our planetary positions right now. And now let's have a look at volcanoes. This is a quick look at the Kilauea volcano as the two vents were quite active over the past 24 hours. A little lava spout coming out of the side of the cone here into the caldera of a caldera. This is a very large and complex volcano, Kilauea volcano. Here is a time-lapse video of the magma intrusion and lava overflows from just two days ago at the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii. Very large caldera where these two vents are going off. And look at the vents today. Last night they were pretty calm, just showing minor uh, lava overflow. But now we've got geysers. Lava geysers fountaining as high as 800 meters, or sorry, 800 feet. Quite possibly even a thousand foot geysers here. This could be one of the record breaking eruptions at Kilauea right now. And this is just one volcano that is active out of the 84 that are active and erupting around the world. And we're going to give you a look here at every active and erupting volcano right now. So all the red icons are erupting. All the orange are active and or erupting. And all the yellows are showing signs of unrest. We're going to start out here at the Aleutian Islands with the Great Sitkin Volcano, just east of the Red Islands, and as well the Korovan Volcano, Shishaldin. It's been erupting since August 2025. And the Katmai Volcano. And as well, another one which has just awakened, the Liamna Volcano which just awakened in June of 2025. Of course, we have the active, very active Kilauea volcano updated just yesterday, November 8th, 2025. Over to Mexico, where we've seen a lot of seismicity re recently towards Guatemala. But we've got Popo Paquetetl in Mexico. And as well, Santiago here, Fuego. Moving further south, San Cristobal, Talica, the Messiah, Conception, Recon de la Veja, and as well, Pos. Now going into South America, towards Colombia, where we have Nevadas de Rules. Moving south, the Prachi. And as well, Reventador, Cotopaxi, Sangue. Moving further down south into Peru, the mighty Ubinus, and as well, Sabancaya. Minor eruption since November 19th last year. That thing's been going a long time. And then look at this long line of active volcanoes through Chile. We've got the Tingaririca, 
Tingarica, and as well the Plachonde, or Petora, Laguna del Mao, Copahu Volcano, and as well Calaqui, Villarica, and another one, Piuhe. I'm not even sure how that's said, but yet another one has awakened in South America. One out of 84 that are active and erupting around the world. Michael Volcano is showing signs of activity this week as well, with big SO2 plumes coming from the region, which I always say looks like a snake's head. Big subduction zone there. Big long Aleutian line of volcanoes at the head of it. Now let's get to Africa. We've got Urta Ale and as well the Dauphin. Fantail. Moving further south, Old Doño, Langai, and as well Nirigongo and Nirimirigira. Two very close in proximity active interrupting volcanoes. Now all of this activity has literally doubled since I started broadcasting here with daily events worldwide, I used to broadcast and report 25 or maybe 35 volcanoes active and erupting. Now here we are. Six years later, and we're sitting at 84. Double the amount in which I had predicted and forecasted here with the daily events worldwide as we go through the geomagnetic reversal. Let's carry on here. The Barren Island Volcano, which just today reported quite a sizable earthquake, 5.5. We've also got the Silawi, and as well, Marapi, Karinchi, and Dempo, Krakatoa, Marapi, Simaru, Arong, and as well, Agung, Luatobi, and Luatolo. Luatolo has been putting off some pretty fantastic eruptions. As well, we've got Gamalama, Ibu, and as well, the Rung Volcano, the Philippines, Northern Indonesia, and the Kowloon Volcano has been very active. Kenlon, Tao Volcano, Mayan, and the Bulusan, all through the Philippines, very active region, Pacific Ring of Fire, activated right now. Nishinashima, and as well, Swiss and Ajima. We've got the Karishmi, Sekamajira, and as well, Kikai. New one that has awakened here in northern Japan, Akan Volcano, awakened just in September. And then across Kamchatka, which has been very active this past few months with some very large earthquakes. Shivalich, Bezimieni, Karimishnikov, and as well Karamiski and Kluchevskoy. Carrying on here through Papua New Guinea and parts of New Caledonia. Manam Volcano, Langla, as well Uluan, Bagana. Tinakula, Aoba, now over into Fiji, Yes Sir Volcano, and the Home Reef, Matthew Island Volcano, and as well Tofua. And also a sizable new eruption at the White Island Volcano in New Zealand. And then last, last not, but not least, let's not forget the mighty Erubus in Antarctica, the only active and erupting volcano through the region closest to is the herd volcano that's the one that trump wanted to tax tax the penguins tariff them but that is a look at all the volcanoes that are active and erupting around the world as we have 84 right now and we're showing here the last 48 hours for earthquakes according to volcanodiscovery.com and that's where all this information is shared and prepared here with daily events worldwide thank you so much for pressing play today giving you your volcanic activity report and planetary positions for November 2025. Here is a look at the earthquakes that were rocking 
the northeast region of Japan off the coast there. 6.8 followed by 6.4, 25 aftershocks through the region. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected worldwide by earthquakes, disasters, and as well now sulfur dioxide emissions. The air quality is not great, my friends and family, and it's visible around the world. Here is a look at the SO2 forecast for the next four days. As you can see, most of the SO2 is coming from eastern Russia, Alaska, and as well the Kilauea volcano, and as well parts of Mexico, Guatemala. But there is a lot lingering across North America right now as well, so stay safe and healthy, my friends and family, and aware and prepared. And thank you so much for pressing play today. If you enjoyed this information shared and prepared, please give a thumbs up. Get in the comment section down below and tell me you want more. And we'll give you weekly volcanic updates. Here's a look overlooking South America, Africa, and as well a look at Antarctic region towards the Michael volcano. That is connected to the South American subduction zone connecting Antarctica. There's about five islands right there at the tip of the subduction zone. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Good night. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.